Hi everyone, I'm glad you're here. Thank you very much for joining me today. Today is Thursday, September 28th, 2023. And that was an image of lying going off. I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News and thank you for joining me here. Uh, where are you located at? What city? When you watch my videos. And what time is it? I hope everyone is doing well. There's been a few earthquakes there at Yellowstone. Um, two are not being reported, at least two. And what's going on over here? I wish I could make that bigger. Yeah, there's something there going on with the boardwalk. Maybe they'll zoom in later. I don't know. USGS is only reporting one earthquake today, and that's a 0 0.1. 3.1 1 miles below the surface that was uh well we'll go there and zoom in a little bit yeah the madison river area and then the other one that they reported that was yesterday a 2.9 that was stanley idaho this here is the snake river plateau and yeah they they've been having a lot of earthquakes there so the most recent earthquake you'll see here on the borehole borehole 950 on the left this here is holmes hill um next to that second to the right is west thumb and then we got maple creek let me bring this over so you can see it it was a very deep earthquake um probably a magnitude 2.6 this here is the spectrogram and let's go to the seismic signature signature yeah, volcanic tremors. Volcanic tremors are deep earthquakes that brings up magma. Yeah, you can tell by the rounded little signature of the tops on them. This here is from Maple Creek, and this is from Holmes Hill. We'll go to its seismic signature. Yeah, yeah. Let me move it across so you can see it a little bit better. I've talked about how the ground's getting really brittle. So we're getting a lot of popping. That would probably be a good indication right there and right there and right there. Um, two of those are marked in red. The other earthquake would be this one right here. This is fault movement. Okay. It too shows up on four different monitors. The borehole just kind of a little blip there. Holmes Hill right there. And then West Thumb. And Maple Creek looks like, um, once again, Holmes Hill and Maple Creek are probably the best signatures. Once again, a deep earthquake. More heat came up with this one and toxic gases. You can see a line of melt here. A faint one, probably two faint ones above that. It looks like a slow moving tremor with a P wave on it. And that one might have been there along the Snake River Plateau. It comes in as a magnitude 2.95 and they're not reporting it. I haven't been able to find anything else around the world, but if it did happen, you know, farther than that, I don't know where. I did a search and I can't find it. Um, yeah, this is all. Let me bring this over. Yeah, fault movement. Here's the spectrogram for Holmes Hill, and we'll go to the seismic signature. Yeah, you can see the sharpened points here. This here is the only one that they are reporting at 946 Universal. That one was at 346 a.m. Uh, local time there at the park, and they're lying to you again. They're saying it's a magnitude 0.1. It is at least a magnitude 1.27. There's the spectrogram. Let's look at the seismic signature. And yeah, this is volcanic tremor here. Um, the other three, they're not reporting. Let's go to the next one. All right, let's pull this over. Go to the spectrogram. That's another little one. That's littler. And uh, that one comes in as a magnitude 0 0.84. Now that one is small. All right, the next one, which is very small. 
Okay, there's the spectrogram, the seismic signature. That comes in as a 0 0.88. And again, it's volcanic tremors. This one is marked in red. They're not reporting this one either. Uh, let's see here. That comes in as a magnitude 1.12. So those are the most recent three that they are not reporting. Again, borehole 950. Now this is for the Norris Geyser Basin area. We've got a lot of popping going on. I don't know if you can see all those marked in red. Um, I'll just pick this one right here. Is that it? No. Try and find it for you. Right there. Okay, a lot of gases came up in heated water. Look at the seismic signature. Oh, let's pull this. Yeah, we had harmonic tremors prior to that. And then the popping. Yeah, the fault moving. Okay, let's find... Let's see, I'm trying... I'm just going for the ones that are marked in red. There's another one there. I mean, they're throughout this whole thing. Being a borehole, it will not pick up anything from the outside. Only things that are occurring under the ground. That's more recent when I pulled the files. Right there. And there's the seismic signature. Yeah, see we got harmonic tremors going on too. See the little springy waves here. Okay, then we got another one right there it looks like. Or is it above it? Oh, it's above it. Okay. And let's make that bigger. See that up and down? Yep. And then we got another one there. Is that it? Or maybe it's there. I don't know. They're so close to each other. Okay. We'll just go to the spectrogram. Looks like a lot of the popping is just bringing up um, gases of different sort. There we go. Okay, and we'll go up. I only pulled the files for the last 24 hours. Try and find these. Okay. I don't see anything that brought up a lot of heat other than the gases. Yeah, it's probably really smelly there right now at the park. Especially in the Norris Geyser Basin area. Yeah, a lot of popping. Let's see. In this location, we got the slow moving tremors. And you can see it here, and it gets a little bit brighter in color. Yeah, more heat coming up. And this here is West Thumb. Yeah. More popping. Oh, this one's we got one marked in red right there. Yeah, see the heat that came up? And we got this marked in red. Oh my goodness, yeah. What time was that? 211 Universal. So that would have been at 811 p.m. yesterday. Yeah, let's look at the seismic signature. Yeah. Okay, and then we got Oh, more volcanic tremors, slow moving tremors, magma on the move. Yeah, my notifications is squawking at me. Now we got here, let me make that bigger. It almost looks, yeah, we got screaming. Yep, right there at 14.08. This would have been today. And that would have been at 8.08 a.m. today. Yeah, see that? Let's pull it over a little bit. Let's extract that. Yeah. My goodness. And there's another volcanic tremor there. And this is when I pulled the files. Let me show you what it was showing. Just, oh, maybe an hour ago, my time. Yeah. Hard to tell. Looks just like. Slow moving tremors. Yeah, see volcanic. Yeah, volcanic. 
Can I make that bigger? Well, if I make it too big, I want to see, check something out here. I want to look at the hertz. It's about 10 hertz, it looks like. Let me pull this over for you. All right, we got some more screaming um, yesterday. Look at that. Let's go to the seismic signature. Um, 2114. That would have been 314 p.m. local time. And then before that, we got another one right there. Um, 308 p.m. 306. Oh, we got some more over here. Let's see. Um, 258 p.m. yesterday. Yeah, like I said, I only pulled files going back 24 hours. And what's it showing right now? It doesn't look too bad other than these other earthquakes that are occurring. Again, this is West Thumb. Now, going to Maple Creek, which is the Madison River area, or near the Madison River area. Yeah, we got lots of slow-moving tremors that were going on um, yesterday. And we got some popping that was happening. I got a couple that are marked in red here. I don't know if I can find it because it's so thick. The lines. Yeah, let's go to the spectrogram. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, we got one line of melt real high up close to the crust. For those of you that might be new, there is pockets of melt. Now, not all rock melts at the same temperature but there is pockets of melt only 600 feet below the ground where people are walking yeah think of a sponge one of those old-fashioned sponges with the holes in it and those would be um, the pockets of melt yeah 600 feet where people are walking so we'll just come down and take a look at what was going on and let's see, we got more popping there. A little one there. Yeah, slow moving tremor. Yeah, and this is what it was showing when I pulled the files. Yeah, again, this is Maple Creek. Well, it looks like they moved the camera. They're waiting for Old Faithful to go off. Not a lot of people over there in the background. So what are your thoughts? Put your comments down below. If you have any questions, I'll try and answer as best that I can. Um, I don't know all the answers. I'm constantly learning new things. Research is constantly um, updating. Geology is about 50 years behind in other types of sciences. So if you have any questions, yeah, put it down below. Please like, please share. Yes, please share my videos. Always be prepared for any type of disaster. Make sure you're still subscribed, and I'll talk to you later. God bless you all. Bye.